Greetings. I'm Sapna Arbas. I'm a patent attorney in New Orleans. I've been in the intellectual property field since 1982 when I worked as the patent examiner in the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office in Washington, D.C. <clears throat> Please review carefully the information on this page as um, intellectual property issues are complex and this video is simply um, designed to give you um, some information about issues. Um, if you have specific information that you're seeking, um, you should speak to a patent attorney. What should a U.S. business that considers international expansion with existing products or services do to protect its intellectual property and avoid infringing intellectual property of others? Primarily, the U.S. business will need to consider trademarks and patents. It's best to hire a U.S. patent attorney to help it consider its intellectual property issues and to find patent attorneys in other countries to help with these issues in other countries. Trademarks are typically the most important issue for businesses expanding overseas. Uh, trademark rights are geographically limited, so trademark only used and registered in the U.S. may not give the company any rights to use the trademark overseas. The U.S. business should consider registering as trademarks in advance of expansion. Most countries are registration-only countries. Even actual use in those countries does not give any rights to the business. Failure to register the trademarks in advance may allow trademark pirates to get registrations on the U.S. business's trademarks and then sell them for a premium to the U.S. business. Trademark searching before applying to register may be advisable. Trademark searching is typically done online. If the search indicates that the mark is not in use in the country of interest, then it might be possible to apply to register the trademark. The easiest way to register a trademark in multiple countries of interest is through an international trademark application filed through the Madrid Protocol. Over 120 countries are members of the Madrid Protocol. Patents are another important consideration for businesses seeking to expand from the United States internationally. If there are any pending patent applications with priority dates less than one year old, the company should consider filing a PCT patent application. If there are no pending patent applications with priority dates less than one year old, the company should consider improving the product somehow and filing new provisional patent applications on the improved products. A PCT application can be filed a year later. A PCT, Patent Cooperation Treaty, application causes an invention to be patent pending in over 150 countries. The countries in blue are PCT contracting states. They include the great majority of countries of interest for most of our clients. Unlike in the U.S., there is no grace period to file patent applications in most other countries. Most countries instead have a requirement of absolute novelty before a patent application is filed. All patent rights are typically lost in those countries if any commercialization or any non-confidential disclosure is made of the invention prior to filing a patent application. If there are no pending patent applications with priority dates less than one year old, and there are no prospects for improving products, the company should consider exclusive distributorship agreements with partners overseas for existing products of the company. Patent clearance searches can be performed to help discover any patent rights that might be infringed by selling the company's products in countries of interest. Many countries have patents which can be found in free databases. While the business may be able to do some searching on its own, it is best to hire a patent attorney in the country for help with, the, with patent cert, uh, clearance searching. Usually this is done through a U.S. patent attorney. More information about this, about intellectual property in general, and this topic in particular can be obtained from, from me, Seth Narbass, at the contact information shown on this screen. I hope this information was useful to you.